Hello everybody, this is Stray Gamer back for another Dinosaur King grudge match. A kind of a Halloween-y themed one this time because we have got two iconic orange dinosaurs from Dinosaur King. And we are going to find out which one of these pumpkin predators reign supreme. <laughs> this one is really, really made up. Both of these guys like pumpkins. Both of them want to be pumpkin kings, but they can't. So they got to have a grudge match to settle it to see who reigns over the pumpkin patch. Pumpkins. Pentaceratops love pumpkins. Polacanthus love pumpkins. Don't quote me on that. I'm making this stuff up. <laughs> but yeah, this is going to be fun. Let's get on with it. Thank and then again, thank you to everyone who voted, taking part. And if you enjoy these grudge matches, please leave a like, comment down below. What grudge match would you like to see next? Maybe I'll do another one. Maybe I'll do a fan suggestion. <laughs> right, without further ado, let's get on with it. And like normal, it is going to be the best of three. Right, the whole then. In the red corner, we got our local hero, the Polar Canthus. And going for attacking moves this time. Okay, this guy's reform, the reform type version. Right, in the blue corner, we have got Penticeratops. Another orange dinosaur. And again, more another attack-minded move set here. Nothing too spectacular. And I've banned support moves for these grudge matches, because these dinosaurs cheat, and I'm not having it. It's cheating. Ooh, okay, Penty getting the first shot of the match. But yeah, that type of advantage is going to limit the damage. Okay, this is a good hit though. Kamikaze tackle coming in. This Pentaceratops is hunter type, so he should do more damage. And bloody hell, well, okay, it kind of does. Ooh, okay, the reform buff of the Polar Canvas being activated there. That's going to be an atomic bomb as well. Good damage, a Giga Rock Hammer coming as well. Good shot from the Polar Canvas. Oh, that was a good shot. Look at that. Okay, we've got a tie. Oh, it's Polar Canvas getting off that spike arrows. Polar Canvas is going to take the lead in this grudge match. Finishing off the pent with the spike arrows. Right then, on to round two between these two. Right then, round two. And this time for the Polar Canvas, we've got the tie recovery version. A bit more of a uh, different moveset. So we've got the Sand Trap. And we got we got up to the Earthquake and some Crystal Crusher. So, very tie specialised this Polar Canvas this time. Will it be enough for them to finish off the Pentaceratops though? Right, this time for Pentaceratops we've got the Tie type version. And this guy, I believe, I did put Plasma Anchor on him as well. So this is going to be a very interesting round two. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, we're going to start with a tie straight away. Yeah, the Pentaceratops does take less damage doing ties, so that's something the Polar Canthus can have to be wary of, along with this lightning strike. Good lightning strike. Okay, that does trigger the Crystal Crusher. Oh, okay, we've got an electric charge activating from the Pentaceratops. That's going to buff his attack power up. He's going to need that. Oh, but Polar Canthus getting off that Crystal Crusher. That's going to lower the Pentaceratops' defense, which leaves him more vulnerable to damage. Which could be a problem in the long run. Oh, a big problem, because that is an Earthquake. This, is, this should shake things up a bit. Oh wow, that was a decent amount of damage. Okay, so Pentaceratops getting a crit there, needed that. Another Crystal Crusher's getting triggered though. 
but Electric Charge is activated. That's going to max up Pentaceratops' attack power. Oh, but no Crystal Crusher this time. This time Pentaceratops gets the hit and he gets the KO. And Pentaceratops is level things up. Right then, on to our deciding match between these two. Who has enough juice in the pumpkin gutness thing to prevail? I have a way with words. Okie dokie, round three, and well, we, we have to go to, with the tie recovery type polar campus again since he only has two different battle types. But I have changed the moveset up slightly, so we got Sand Trap, we got Earth Barrier for the first time, and we got Mold Attack. So, kind of a mixed bag for Polar Campus, yeah? Right, as for the Pentaceratops, this time he is lethal type, since Pentaceratops has three different battle types. And he is coming in, pretty much attacking you, with a bit of counter blitz on top. And well, we gotta have Captain Spark, haven't we? <laughs> so, this is gonna be very interesting. Okay, we're starting with a tie. Okay, the tie recovery effect off that polar campus is pretty useful. Ooh, that's a mole attack. That's a good start from the campus. Boosh. Okay, counter blitz does get triggered though. And we see the counter blitz. That's going to stop Polar Campus getting another hit on the board. Did some damage as well. Good counter attack. That tie recovery effect is really causing problems. Oh, here we go. Here comes a Thunder Bazooka. Badoosh. And we're going to finish the job with the Gatlin Spark. And Pentaceratops is going to take the victory in this grudge match. And claim ownership of the pumpkin patch. <laughs> what a ridiculous prize to play for. <laughs> well, it's Halloween, in it? we got we got even got our Halloween themed stuff, haven't we? Um, right, that's going to end this grudge match here. So, yep, by popular vote, Pentaceratops did win quite convincingly and uh, yeah hope you enjoyed and until next time ta-ta